Hi, thank you very much, Dr. Aziz, for the introduction. Of course, I'd like to thank uh, the organizing uh, committee uh, and mostly Dr. Stipp uh, for this invitation. Uh, I would have loved to be there and uh, discover uh, Dubai with you. Uh, that will be for another time. So without further ado, I'll go uh, through my presentation and I'll try to go uh, quickly so I can show you um, uh, how my website uh, works. So the, the whole idea about this presentation is that uh, psychoeducation, patient education, or which means to understand uh, very well um, uh, a, a subject of interest, uh, helps promotes engagement uh, into uh, the, the subject of interest. In this case is engagement into a treatment for um, a disorder, which is psychosis. Uh, but the tool I'll present you can also be applied uh, to um, other common uh, psychiatric uh, condition like depression, anxiety, um, and other. So here are my objectives. Uh, so I've uh, started to talk about the PPV2, which stands for uh, Psychoeducation sur la Psychose, uh, meaning patient education tool on psychosis, uh, five or six years ago. Uh, this is a tool I've upgraded every year or two, and which is now available in three languages, uh, French, English, and uh, uh, Arabic, thanks to the help of uh, Dr. Ben Maouch, as well as uh, Dr. Al uh, Tivahi B from McGill, who have uh, worked very hard. So uh, I'm very grateful that they they uh, they wanted to, um, uh, to to help me in this endeavor, and hopefully uh, this tool will be useful for you too. So in case you want a um, paper copy of the tool, you can ask Mr. Joseph. Uh, otherwise, you can access the tool simply by going to my website, Repi Psychos. Repi means research and education uh, on, um, on the uh, innovative treatment in psychosis. Uh, so in French, it's Recherche et Enseignement sur les Pratiques Innovantes dans le Traitement de la Psychose. Simply go on EPPV2 uh, on the horizontal bar, then choose uh, the proper link. So there's a link uh, that go that brings you to uh, the tool that explains psychosis, and another link that uh, explains um, the the aspect of the treatment of psychosis. The password is Expo 2020. So that's how the the uh, the PPV2 tool looks like. So there are 14 thumbnails uh, under each section. And when you click on the thumbnail, it, it zooms you um, the image uh, of interest. I wanted to introduce my presentation by reminding myself of what's going on in the world. This is a very um, sad and chaotic, chaotic moment for the world. Um, which reminds me every day, um, how, how should I deal with this? How, how can I do, how can I accept what's going on? What, how can I be not too sad about what's going on and continue uh, my journey and try to achieve whatever I want to achieve, try to still be there for myself and my loved one. Uh, despite uh, uh, the craziness that is going on in the world, the recession that is looming, the famine, the famine that may uh, that may strike the world. So, how do I change? How do we change? How do my patient change? How do my patient accept um, when psychosis hit them, or accept the side effects of medication, or accept the medication? Uh, so, my presentation is on this this uh, existential question, and I'm sure my colleague have the, uh, will present about on the same subject uh, with different angle. Of course, talking about technology, 
uh, how technology, in, in, in this case, information technology can promote um, how, uh, mental health care. So, so this is a question I've been asking myself for many years. Uh, and of course, I want my, my patient to, um, uh, to be more in control of their life despite um, uh, the tragedy of mental illness. Uh, so there are, there are many tools um, uh, for, for them to better let their life. Uh, but they need to engage in, in the treatment. And that's the main challenge, in my opinion. How, how do our patients engage in their treatment despite the stigma, despite the side effects, despite uh, whatever they hear from Dr. Google or, or the society. Um, and talking about change with my patient reminds me that I also need to change all the time. I always... Uh, I feel that I'm always in a hurry. I never have time for myself. So maybe there's something I should change about my life. Um, and maybe I, sh I should listen to my own advice when I talk to my patients. So we have um, our patients and, and ourselves, we have a common goal, which is, which is to seek freedom and, and inner peace. So that brings me to, to this um to this daily question I have uh, with my patients and with myself. So how how do I change? How do they change? How do they ac adapt to changes? And I call that the CCC, the crucial criteria for change. So I, I, I talk about that all the time with my patients to remind them that I'm I'm not struggling with them. I'm, I'm not fighting with them. I, I, I just want to be a support for them so they can change, they can gather all the willpower to change, and then work with them a plan and a strategy to uh, succeed in changing, which can be accepting a treatment or accepting, or accepting a, a symptom that cannot go away, even with a treatment. Of course, uh, I would love if my job was as easy as prescribing sneakers to my patients so they can just do it and improve their lives. So it's not that, that easy. Most of our patients come through the emergency and so, so they change not necessarily because they want to change, because they had the chance to change and they do it beforehand without emergency. So so the human nature, uh, and I talk about myself, is, is that we change when we don't have the choice, when we are ob obligated to change. Uh, to put it in, uh, in another way is, uh, is to wonder which of these two uh, people is more likely to change. Uh, which is the, who, who is the one who uh, would, I know, um, pay anything for a bottle of water. Uh, of course, is it is a person on the left who would be ready to negotiate with you, uh, with whom you can negotiate very easily. So in this case, if it was a patient, and that person and that patient needs housing, money, or a doctor's note, I'm sure you you would it would be easier for you to negotiate a, that person comes to. Um, follow-ups, maybe take a medication or change uh, their lifestyles or accept the support from a mental health worker uh, from your team in exchange to that bottle of water. So when a person comes to your office and they look like this, now you know that uh, there's a reason why they, they came. So, uh, or when they just came back from the emergency and they feel they, they need to see you, otherwise they pro the police will come at, they, at their place and, and take them. So some of our, my patients have these uh, think this way. So when they feel obligated to come, the first criteria of the CCC is met. They, 
they don't necessarily want to change, but they, they feel they don't have the, chain, the, 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 the choice then to change. So this is an opportunity for change. So now let's talk about the plan and the strategy since uh, the first CCC criteria is already met. Uh, in my opinion, um, we sometimes go too fast uh, when prescribing medication or treatment or therapy to our patient with, without spending enough time explaining or helping them understand why they need a treatment or a change in their life in their lifestyles uh, to uh, improve their uh, mental uh, wellness um, and uh, and I, i've come to realize also that personalized individualized treatment um, uh, help the motivation of patient to, to adopt the treatment that we uh, we put forward of course there are other ingredients Ingredients for success, patience, persistence, consistency, meaning that if the whole team use the same word, the same tool to explain the illness or the treatment, it works better than having uh, different tools uh, which can confuse the patient. Of course, we can have a plan, but if the plan doesn't work, uh, then we have to be flexible and humble uh, to uh, which is the only remedy to to accept that we we are vulnerable. We cannot fix everything, and and just the attempt to change things is already a treatment. Um, um, so 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 that's the humility part of a, a treatment plan. So again, on the same subject of the plan and strategy to change, what is, what is um, in my opinion, the first uh, intervention? Well, before intervening, information uh, is required. So the person needs to understand why they need a specific psychotherapy for to, to, to treat psychosis in this case, or medication, or why do they they need you know to to work on their um, to why do they need to reduce um, you know, the consumption of alcohol? Why do they need to work on their sleep hygiene or uh, the word um, letting go uh, some issues in their life? So so patient education must come before all these more specific treatment. And that is why my tool contains many images that explain the, very, very easily the function of the brain uh, that explains uh, the, uh, some of the symptoms, the impact of a treatment that is um, a disease that is not, that is not treated. So, the, so this is part of the understanding part as well. And, as understanding what they can do themselves to improve their life. Um, that is not necessarily professional care, which is therapy or medication or uh, specialized, um, other specialized treatments. Uh, on the same subject of the plan and strategy for change is to have a um, well-balanced treatment plan. In psychiatry, it is about the biopsychosocial treatment. Uh, so um, in the case of psychosis, uh, treatment um, uh, antipsychotic are very, very important, but it is not enough. The person needs to change, uh, needs to find ways to reduce stress, to accept help for other people, to change maybe their, their life plans, plans to change some of their standards, to change their lifestyles, um, reduce uh, uh, drug use, sleep, uh, problem solve. So, so these aspects can be transformed into a prescription as you see here. Um, and we want our patient to be their own doctors to, to implement their own prescription for their wellness. And all these things are 
or things that they can do on their own to improve the, the, their lives. Uh, uh, so I call them physical activation, social activation, mental activation, occupational activation. So by being busy, one can be less, less ill. And, um, and I'm sure you, um, you have seen that in your own life, uh, being um, a lot, uh, the lockdown has caused a lot of mental problem because people were less busy and less physically active. And it, it has caused uh, a second epidemic of, uh, of mental, uh, mental illness problems. So, so as you see, I've um, I filled this uh, prescription, this bio uh, psychosocial uh, prescription with uh, personalized um, advice, uh, and uh, and that's what the patient wants to. Otherwise, the patient feels that. Um, you know, uh, the doctor is controlling their life, that there is only uh, a pill that they take that cause side effects uh, that can help them. So they are dependent on the doctor for their wellness. No, this full concept of a biopsychosocial treatment reminds them that they are in control too. And this part, which is uh, the, the part about their lifestyle, can be translated into an image like this. This is a, um, a, an image prescription, a prescription uh, transformed into an image of what they should do for their wellness. Uh, this is written in Arabic. Uh, so so non-Arabic speakers, uh, I'll tell you that this part is about problem solving this yellow um, bubble here is about um, being more physically active and socially active. So this is all simple intervention that the patient can do uh, to improve their lifestyles. The treatment is not only medication, it's not only psychological treatment, it's also philosophical and existential. And uh, of course, we can talk a lot about this, but uh, in summary, um, uh, there are common themes, common philosophical themes um, uh, that, uh, that, that we, we use in therapy to help our patients is to remind them to live, to be in the present moment, to be mindful, to give themselves time to remind themselves about their priority, to cultivate trust, trust in other people, Trust in other people is a good treatment against paranoia. Trust in the future means to be hopeful and to be and to have compassion for themselves, which is the same thing as having to to to, to love themselves. So to accept uh, not to be perfect, to accept that you know, to accept to be sad, to be angry, that things are not perfect. Uh, other advice and other philosophical advice can be to try to keep things simple and and to be humble, to remember that we are we are already very lucky to um, to enjoy life and uh, enjoy the miracle of life. We are all miracle people here. Um, so again, in uh, this part can be translated into images to, um, to make things more simple for our patients. So a plan, a successful plan and strategy is also a plan that can be adapted, that can be changed over time as the patient evolves and improves or, uh, or not. So usually the patient wants to have less medication. That is why this uh, dark blue part is being um, uh, taken over by the other part of the treatment. So, so we can explain to the patient if you have, if you want to have less medication, sure, you can do other things for your wellness. You can work on letting go, accepting, relaxation, 
better cope with your stress, accept support from your family, from friends, from mental health workers, reduce your drug use, uh, etc. So, so this pictogram here shows how the treatment can progress from the acute phase to the recovery phase, where typically the patient needs uh, less medication, but needs to compensate with uh, more intervention on, on their wellness. And all this to achieve a goal, um, common goal that all humans have, which is um, summarized by this uh, acronym, CHIME, uh, which means uh, that we all want to be connected. We want, all want to have hope to work on our identity and not only be a, a patient or a patient who have schizophrenia or, um, um, or Asian <laughs> or uh, Caucasian. Uh, we, we, we want to be just ourselves. We all want to find meaning in our life and be in control. So, so that concludes this part. Uh, this, that, that, that allows us to achieve the second CCC, the critical um, um, criteria for, uh, for change, which is to have a plan and a strategy to change. And those images can help the patient uh, to know exactly what they can do to improve their life. Their life. Um, but we must remember uh, that we that humility is part of the treatment. Let's say our treatment or our plan doesn't work out, it's okay. And uh, of course, uh, as um, mental health workers, doctors, we realize that because not all of our plan are, are carried out or are successful, but we know that having a plan gives hope. So just the process of planning is, helpful uh, whether or not it it worked uh, so this is um, uh, i learned about this quote from uh, the uh, uh, president from the united states i think the 34th one so in conclusion before i show you um my, my tool um, live on my website is that to recover is not easy to recover is and to be well is actually actually means to be to change because um, if we, we um, if we are well we're not thinking we don't think about changing okay if we are not well then we think that we are more conscious about the fact that we are not well and we want to be well and it of course implies that something needs to be changed whether um, it is something very concrete and practical in our life. Let's say, I you know, um, having more times for ourselves, uh, allowing ourselves to, to have fun, to travel, to eat, to sleep, or to accept a loss, or to take medication because we realize that our, our mood is changing. So, so the change can be um, placed everywhere on this um, uh, on this diagram, which represent the biopsychosocial and responsibility part of the treatment. So to change, we must want to change. Um, so sometimes we must be in a emergency situation in order to change. Uh, so when a patient comes to see, see us, uh, rarely do they want to change really, but they feel, uh, but a lot of time they, they feel that they don't have the ch choice then to change. And we should be there with a lot of compassion to um, give them the support they need to achieve, to be courageous and achieve their change with strategies and plans, of course. Uh, so, uh, so all our intervention aims uh, toward the time um, uh, goals, which is uh, to that all human wants to be connected, to have a, a, an identity, 
of their own, to be hopeful, to find meaning in things, and to be in control. Um, and there are simple tools that allows uh, you to remind the patients about what they, they need to do for their wellness. So those are some ideas. And I think I have a few minutes to show you these tools now. In case you want to contact me, 